Hi, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. I am Adam, uh, and today I will be unboxing the Pathfinder Pawns uh, Mummy's Mask Pawn Collection by Paizo. Um, it's been a while since I've gotten one of these pawn collections, and this one is, uh, it's like all mummy and Egyptian themed, and I've, you know, so since that's different than a lot of what I've gotten so far, I thought it'd be cool to check out. Um, and so let's do so. Our, our cover and the back shows a list of what's inside. But we're opening this one, so that will also show us what is inside. sleeve to be cut up and used if you use the binder storage suggestion I talk about uh, in one of my videos and let's go closer. Alright. So we got whatever. Some people, some monsters, basilisks. That guy there, a bigger picture of his face, he's in the back of here, it's Voldemort. It says Bag, and I'm sure it's someone in their game, but it's a red-eyed, noseless, snake-like, pale-faced dude that's Voldemort. <laughs> so if you need Voldemort, this is the collection for you. Um, these Bodaks look like uh, some sort of weird zombie thing. A coffer corpse, some cultists, some demons, a false sarcophagus, like a mimic in the form of sarcophagus, I suppose, and that's pretty cool. The forgotten pharaoh, forgotten pharaoh cultists. So that's gonna be fun. And of course, our big one was. Uh, well, was whatever that says. <laughs> Some more of these forgotten pharaoh cultists. Um, Archer knoll slavers. So some cool knolls with whips. A mummy golem. Okay, looks kind of like a mummy, but if you want to say it's a golem as well, too. But I'm not gonna argue. Mm -hmm. Like ghosts, these handmaidens would look, make good ghosts. I don't actually, I mean, I don't actually do the campaign path, so I look at them for what I'd use them for outside of this, and I would probably never use these guys with the beetle head. Egyptian or not, that, that just looks weird. Or scarab, I suppose, would probably be the, the proper term. Yeah, we just got some, you know, we got the, the, it's a kopesh. Gotta love a Kopesh. Let's see. Library curators. Some just sort of scrolls, people's. Uh, living sandstorm. So that's like a sandstorm elemental. Sand elemental could be used as. That'd be fun. Um, That's that chick's a chubby chick that's dressed like the all the scantily clad fantasy, you know, stereotype, but with some weight on her. So that's hilarious. You don't see that. That's uh, really branching out there. Mumino Fra. Is her name? That person's face is gold. That's unusual too. We got a mummified Aquahin. A bunch of them. Nameless assassins. Yeah, we got a uh, guy with that mask. Some uh, mummy here.
like a crocodile dude. Skeletal thing with glowing eyes. You know, some of these soldiers here, the bee people. No, looks like it could be sort of a, a lich. Oh, a bee person dancer. So, just a variant. But cool. Cool. Usarib. She's got a cool hat, crossbow. Got a bunch of these, whatever, street for thugs. The voice of the sun. And Ron Sentinel. Uh, gotta love these uh, scorpion people. Theron Golem, Graven Guardian of Anubis, whatever, uh, Serpent Person, oops, pretty big, whatever those are, rawr. <laughs> like a bull thing, some tentacle-y thing, Wait, what would you do without tentacle-y thing, gotta have that. Another one of the scorpion people. It's a guy this time. You got whatever they call him. It looks like this would be a great bone golem. Um, or maybe that last one was a guy. I don't know. But the short hair this time. This one is certainly a girl scorpion person. So we have at least one of each and then, you know, whatever that was. Um, anyways. Set guardians, uh, these large lynxes that are covered in bandages. Looks like a sphinx, but it's a named one, so. Best part about the named ones is variety in art, of course. Let's see. Uh, look at these big things. Fury of the Drowned Desert. Muddy slug like. Monster thing, whatever. Uh, giant death worm, that's cool, that's cool. Giant whip tail centipede, get it? It's got whips on the end of its tail. Like a rock golem, a rock elemental, or whatever you'd want to call it with trees growing on it. Well, that, that's cool. We got some of these little guys here. Uh, mining beetle. Gaunt cadaver. A guardian scroll, it's like an animated scroll. That's cool. Scarab swarm. Wise witch of the pharaoh. Got another one of them things. Uh, brass golem. It's like a golem in the form of a minotaur, though. It's much larger. Vulture, lion, -y, whatever. Um, and a dust scorpion. It's always fun, right? Um, giant bug thingy. <laughs> um, Another swarm of something. Warrior dolls. Another one of those. And I'm thinking that's yeah, it's one of the bee people. I mean it's a named one. And that That is it. That is what is in this uh Mummy's Mask Pawn collection. Um as like I said I don't really play the campaign paths for Pathfinder. Um, but I use the pawns just for wherever they fit within my, uh, my use, um, gaming. And they are a little, uh, cardboard 
pieces with the same art on both sides. They're named, they're numbered, they have a... I guess a letter, a couple of letters or a few letters to register. Like this one has MM on it for Mummy's Mask, so you can sort them out as you need to. Um, but this collection does not have the bases. You have to get the bases from one of the boxed collections. Um, the bestiary boxes, or there's NPC collections, or they keep coming out with more of those. So you have more, keep having more, or, the, or they just sell normal, like uh, just their bases separate. So if you just wanted to get the ones for one of the sets, you could and get those. But they they don't stand up unless you have the uh, the bases as well. So this collection does require you get that. Otherwise, I'll find uh, where you could find, uh, get these online. Put a link. Or of course, your uh, friendly local gaming store may have them. Um, anyways, have a good day. Bye.